Good evening. Sorry. At the beginning, this didn't let me get into the meeting. Thank God I can make it work. Okay, let's see. How was your day? Good evening, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. How was your day? Fine, teacher, and your day? Fine. I was uh, on weeding my garden, taking out weeds, o sea, quitando las malas hierbas. I had a lot of time without going to my garden, and then the, the weeds were taking control of it. But the thing is that an insect get, get uh, no, an insect, a flying insect uh, gets into my hand here. Mm -hmm. and, but it, it doesn't bite me, but it just falls there. And then some days later, I feel the skin strange. Mm -hmm. And I have this strange mark here. I'm trying to, to take it out of me, but it keeps there. So since that insect made this to me, I avoid to, to get into my garden. <laughs> I don't want more insects doing this to my skin. It's very, very strange, see? Uh, uh, how do you say sancudos? No, it, 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 was not a, it was not a mosquito. Because uh, I was, uh, dengue. <laughs> uh, you had dengue, okay. Uh -huh. But no, this is not dengue. It, this is not nothing like that because first mm -hmm. of all, it doesn't allergy. bite me. It, it's more like an allergy that it, it is something that the insect carries in, in mm -hmm. its, its uh, legs mm -hmm. and, and infected me. Mm. But, but it, 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 I had put a lot of things here and nothing worked. So I guess I have to go to a derm dermatologist. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can put some kind of acid to burn it because I don't like it. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why I, I'm not visiting too much my, my garden and, and the weeds are taking control of it. But now I, I went and I started to do something. I wish I will do some something more tomorrow and the days after so my garden can be in shape again. <laughs> Yes, because the, the weeds are taking the nutrients from, from my soil, okay? And my soil is for the good plants, not for the bad ones. Okay. Now we have intonation in questions, okay? And this is Albert Einstein looking to the future. He may say that we are in that, in that era right now. He say, I fear the day that technology will surpass 
our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. Albert Einstein. And that's true. Technology, technology surpass our human interaction. Sometimes the people are sitting all around a, a table, but each of them are doing themselves, the, 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 I'm doing whatever they wanted, but with the phone, not with the people around them. <sighs> it's a pity. Okay. Object pronouns. Remember, for I is me, for you, you, he, him, she, her, it, it, we, us, you, you, they, them. Okay. The object is the receiver of the action and the subject is the doer of the action. In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Now listen. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Part A, listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, rising and falling intonation. The uh, yes, no questions, rising intonation. WH questions, falling intonation. Now repeat after me. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? What, what kind of music do you like? Okay, now. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you like, like music? music? Do you play a musical instrument? Do you, do you play, play a musical instrument? instrument? What programs do you like? What programs, what programs do, you like? do you like? What videos do you like? What, what videos, videos do you like? Do you like? Which music mm -hmm. instrument do you play? Okay, now each of you will make one yes no question and one WH questions. Okay, uh, Jessica Castro, you you choose from these three one and from these three another one, and you read them. Okay. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Mm -hmm. Which music instrument do you play? No. Which music instrument do you play? Para abajo. O sea, no es para arriba. Acuérdese, el, 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 el que va raising intonation es el de yes, no question. Y el otro es falling intonation. Va para abajo. ¿Ok? Ok. Which music play? instrument do you play? Do you play? Do you play? Do you play? No, do you play? Para abajo. O sea, which, which music? music instrument do you play? Para abajo. Which okay. music instrument do you play? Excellent. Now, 
Doris Jasmine. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh, ¿Por qué para bajo esta, esta palabra? Así es, eh, el, el, la forma que ellos ocupan, o sea, para, para diferenciar. Entrar. Ajá, entonces, este, el, el, o sea que, así como en, como en español, usted para uh -huh. hacer las preguntas en español, hay, algunas veces sube la, la voz, otras veces la paja. Entonces, uh -huh. lo mismo en inglés. Entonces, uh -huh. en inglés, ellos las yes no questions las hacen, la, part, la última parte hacia arriba. En yes no question y, y en WH question la última parte hacia abajo mm, ok, okay. Thank you. entonces ahora usted escoge ahí de las, de las yes no question cuál va a hacer y también de la WH question uh, do you like music uh -huh. y what videos do you like no, what videos do you like? What videos do you like? Uh -huh. Do you like music? What videos do you like? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Now, Sofia Castaneda. Um, do you play a musical instrument? Uh -huh. uh, what programs do you like? Do Excellent. You like? Excellent. Reina Lemus. Hello. Uh -huh. Choose any of the yes no questions and read it, and then any of the WH questions. Um, do you like music? Uh -huh. What videos do you like? No. What videos do you like? What videos do you like? Excellent. Now, uh, Sandra Noemi. Do you like to watch TV? Mm -hmm. What programs do you like? Excellent. Now, Jancy, Andrea. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Mm -hmm. What programs do you like? Excellent. Now, Rafa. Do you like music? What uh -huh. video do you like? Excellent. Now, Katia Elizabeth. Uh, do you like to watch TV? Uh -huh. What program do you like? Excellent. Bella Lorena. Okay. Do you play the musical instrument? Which music instrument do you play? Excellent. Sofia Castaneda? Uh, do you like music? And which music instrument do you play? Okay. Now, Doris Jasmine, you already passed? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Natalie Ayala? Do you play a musical instrument? What videos do you like? Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Juan Carlos. Do you like music? Uh -huh. What videos do you like? Excellent. Louis? Eh, voy entrando, Ticha. <risa> Entonces vamos a repetir. Este, hay, hay rising intonation y falling intonation. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, para los yes no question es rising intonation. O sea, la última parte de la pregunta se va hacia arriba. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Aquí es falling. Falling intonation in las WH questions. Entonces ahora los estoy poniendo a que escojan cualquiera de las eh, yes no question que está aquí y la lea y 
cualquiera de las WH questions y la lea. Muy bien. Ajá. Este, do you like music? Do you like music? And... Do you like music? Para arriba. Do you like, do you like music? Uh -huh. And which music instrument do you play? Do you play? Excellent. Thank you. ¿Alguien que se me haya quedado? ¿Todos pasaron? Ok. Qué bien poquito soy. Now, ¿qué está lloviendo en El Salvador? Y yes, este. Ah, pues, por eso ha de ser. Y cuando está lloviendo mucho, este, tienen mala conexión y no pueden entrar. Now, Where are you from? ¿Perdón? Where are you from? I am from no, El Salvador, but I am living in Panama. Oh. Here where we have a lot of riots right now. We have no food in the, we have no food, we have no food in the supermarkets. <laughs> Thank God I have my garden. And now we made soup and we made it with my spinach. <laughs> I have, I have a plantation of spinach, then I go to to pick uh, spinach, culantro, and albahaca to make the soup. Mm -hmm. Why What's the issue? No, teacher, why there is a the, the riots. The riots because we don't have a President Bukele here. And all the, the gasoline is too expensive. And the people is making, making riots. They are taking uh, the highways and they are not letting um, the trucks come with the food for us. So we have no food now. But thank God I have my plantation here. And I, I also picked some papayas today, papayas. Then if, if we don't have food, at least we will eat papayas and, and, and spinach. <laughs> <laughs> now, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about contentants. Okay, we are going to listen to the TV show. Wait. I don't know what happened with this thing. Well, uh, Linda is in a TV game show and we are going to listen okay now listen listen to four people on a tv game show three men want to invite linda on a date what kinds of things do they like what kinds of things does linda like Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, 
Now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Now, listen again. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Hoop. What? Sorry, before we continue. Do you think that you had to get on a date with somebody that is just like you? Just like, okay. It's somebody that likes all the things that you like, somebody that does all the things that you do, or uh, somebody that is just like you. Do you think that is good to go for a date? Or if you go for a date, it's because you want to get something with that people and then get married. Do you think that it has to be somebody just like you? No. No. <laughs> yes, you are my. <laughs> I guess that friends uh, and partners has to be different because you have to to convey. Okay, you have to get into if if you are looking for someone just like you, please stay alone. <laughs> Okay, or if you want to change somebody just because you want him to be like that. No, it's not, it's not a way. I guess that each of us are different and our differences make us uh, nice because we have to figure it out how to live with those differences. My three children, each of them are different and I love them. Okay. Now, let's, let's continue with this. Who's my date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. Do you want me to pause with each of the answers? Or we listen to all of it and then answer the questions. For parties. For Post. parties. Okay. Now, what kind of music does we like? Classical. Classical. Western. Okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And okay. Now, John. Yes. 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 Okay. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I okay. Now, he likes <coughs> rock. 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 Tony likes rock, and Linda likes pop. 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 Okay. Now. Let's see. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. 
Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Okay. He likes? Thrillers. 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 Okay. And what about oh, you? Oh, I like westerns. Western. Okay. John likes? Westerns. Western. Westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what? Okay. What about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. Okay. Uh, he likes horror, horror films. Horror films. And horror what films. about Linda? Horror films. Horror films. Horror films. Horror films too. What about you? Do you like horror films? No. 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 Yes. I like horror films, and I like also. Uh, well, I I almost. I like almost all kind of, of, of movies. Uh, I like to go with my children to, to the movies. So I also like uh, children's movies. Um, but what I prefer is a, uh, historical movies, okay? Like, for example, a uh, romance or uh, things that are from from uh, the past, okay? I also like science fiction. I, I like all kinds of, 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 of films. But my my favorites nowadays, well, when I was young, I really loved uh, Gone with the Wind and Dr. Chivago. Those were my favorites. Have you ever seen that? No? Have you ever seen Dr. Chivago? No, teacher. No. No, it was from uh, the. It, it is about the transaction of the time from the SARS to the revolution. Okay. When when Russia was uh, in in charge of the SARS, the kind of of life they had, and then when it gets into the revolution. Okay. And the other one is uh, Gone with the Wind. Have you seen, have you ever seen that? No. Gone with the Wind is about uh, the life in the Southern uh, states when before, before the, the, the revolution in, in the United States. Before the the it, it was it was called the war of when it was the north against the south, okay. It, that is gone with the wind. You may see it in YouTube nowadays. I also recommend you the name of the rose, in el nombre de la rosa. That's with Sin Connery. I recommend it to you. It's a very nice movie. Now. And now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda?
Okay. You have them all? Los tienen todos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, help me. Elizabeth, read number one. What kind of music does Bill like? Does Bill like? That, does Bill, Bill like? Uh -huh. uh, Classical. Cl Bill likes classical music. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Jessica Castro. What kind of movies does Bill like? Uh -huh. He likes thrillers movies. Thank you. Now, Bella Lorena. What kind of TV programs does Bill like? Okay. He likes news programs. Okay, thank you. Now, Sofia Castaneda. What kind of music does John like? Uh, he's like jazz. He likes jazz. He's like jazz. Likes. Likes. Excellent. Now, Louis. Um, what kind of movies does John like? He likes Western movies. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Rafael. What kinds of program does John like? Uh, seria, he takes show. He likes. He likes the show. He likes. He likes. Talk shows. shows. Talk. Talk shows. Talk shows. Okay, thank you. Jancy, Andrea. What kind of music does Sonny like? He likes rock music. Okay, thank you. Now, Katia Elizabeth Serrano. I don't see well. <laughs> you don't see? Uh, okay. What kind of, mo of movie does Tony like? Okay. He likes uh, horror films. Horror films. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Doris Jasmine. And what kind of TV programs does <clears throat> Tony like okay game show he likes game shows okay. sorry he, he likes <clears throat> game show okay thank you Catherine Irasema what kind of music does Linda like okay she pop she likes she pop. likes she, she likes, likes pop pop okay thank you now reina lemus eleven uh, yes what kind of music does linda like what kinds of movies of movies movies does uh -huh. like? okay uh, like she likes Oral. Oral films. Okay, thank you. Sandra Noemi. What, what kind of TV program does Linda like? She likes the doll talk shows. shows and talk, talk shows. shows. Uh-huh. And game and shows. Game shows. Okay, thank you very much.
Okay, we already finished this. And now, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where good for invitations is used when making plans. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, now again. When making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. He has the tickets, but has no money for the dinner. <laughs> okay, now, uh, volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Who's me? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, yes. No, no, vamos a repetir primero. Ah, okay, okay. Now, repeat after okay. me. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. Thanks, I'd love, I love to. to. What time does it start? What, what time, time does it start? At eight. At, At eight. eight. That sounds great. That, that, that sounds, sounds great. great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? So, do you, you want to have, to have the dinner, dinner at, at six? Um, I like to. Oh, oh I, I like to. I like to. But I have to work late. But, but I have, I have I to, to work, work, work late. late. Oh, that's okay. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's okay. okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Let's, Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Before the match. Before the match. Around 7.30. 
around and sharing jerry. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Okay, okay. okay. let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. fine. See you there. See you there. Do you want to practice again or it's okay? It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Okay. Now volunteers. Jessica and the one who saved me. <laughs> ¿Quién fue el que dijo me? Yo, teacher, Juan Carlos. I am ah, Juan okay, Carlos. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos and Jessica. After Juan Carlos and Jessica will be Jancy and Elizabeth. Okay. Now. Okay. I have ticket to soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, remember when you see a let's is let's. You have to pronounce the S, okay? Let's. Okay. Because it's let us. O sea, let veámonos, us. ¿verdad? Como veámonos, encontrémonos, eh, dependiendo de lo que, lo que digan. Pues. Now, eh, the other two people I said, please. I have... I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? <laughs> Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Um. I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's on fine. See you there. See you there. <laughs> now, uh, Sophia. And who else? And Bella. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Helms, I allow to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. Sounds great. So do you want to have a dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work light. Um, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.40. Okay, 30. let's meet. 7.30. 7.30. 30. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> 3, it's 30. No, no, I said 30. No, it's 30, 30. 30. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank Bye. you. Now, uh, Natalie, Patricia, and Louis. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like would you like to go? 
things I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, thank you. Now, other two volunteers. Okay, Ana Margarita, who else? Okay, Ana Margarita, you start and I will be with you. Go ahead. Anna. Anna. Okay. Or do you want me to start? Mm. I yes. have tickets. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to when I does in star. At eight. That's okay. So so do you want to have dinner dinner uh see? Oh, uh, I'd like to, but I had to work late. Oh, right. Okay. Let's use meet as this stadium before the match. Arun Serenter. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's so fine. See you there. See you. Okay. Now, that's all for now with this. Okay, let's see. We still, ha still have time. Let's continue with the one that we have for emergencies. Remember that we had the possessives. Okay. Remember that we were talking about the possessives, that when we have a singular nouns, we, we add apostrophe S, that is called uh, also Saxon genitive, okay? And when we have uh, irregular plurals, we also add apostrophe S, but when we have singular names that end in S, we just add apostrophe. And we ha when we have a regular uh, uh, plurals nouns, we also just add apostrophe. Okay, and remember that we have a personal pronouns. We have subject pronouns and object pronouns. The subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, and the object pronouns me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. We also have possessive pronouns that we don't need to add uh, immediately a noun after them. And we have adjective pronouns, which we need to put immediately after them a noun. For example, my, my notebook, your cell phone, his mother, her cousin, its house. Our friends, your uh, laptop, their uh, friends, okay? And with mine, we only say mine, yours, his, hers, its, 
are yours and theirs. Okay, we have seen this, uh, the different uh, possessives. First with Saxon genitive. Remember that when we are using Saxon genitive, when we translate it, is from the back to the front, okay? La casa de Trevor, okay? La casa de Trevor. Eh, los hijos de Jay y Joe. El carro de Ruth. Remember that that apostrophe is, is means eh, de. We talk about the infinitive articles that we use a when the sound is a consonant sound. And it includes you and you when it sounds like je. Okay. For example, university, a university, a European. And we use an when the sound is a vowel or an H mute. Okay, an apple, an umbrella, an owl. Now, uh, Bella Lorena, could you read this, please? Until the first period. Okay, the word that is one of the most common words in the English. Okay, thank you. Sandra Noemi. Or only definite article. Okay, thank you. Natalie? Volunteer? Luego ya, teacher. Ajá, ok. Nouns sí. in English. Nouns in English are preset by the definite article when the speaker believes that the listener already knows what he is referring to. Thank you. Now, uh, Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi, the speaker. The speaker. I. The speaker may believe. The speaker may believe this for many different reasons. Okay, the speaker may believe this for many different reasons, some of which are listed below. Okay, now, which are the rules? Um, Jancy. Okay, you should refer to something which has already been mentioned. Examples. Examples. On Monday, an unmarried man stole one million, one thousand, one thousand, one thousand from the bank. The thief hasn't been caught yet. Okay. I was now, Rafael Cruz. I was talking past the many a baker when they when I decided to to go 
intro the baker to get some the bread. Okay, I was walking past Benny's bakery when I decided to go into the bakery to get some bread. Okay, ya no vuelve a mencionar, como aquí ya mencionó que era Benny's Bakery, entonces aquí solo dice The Bakery, porque aquí ya lo mencionó, ¿verdad? Now, there's a position available in my team. The job will involve some international travel. Hey, qué galán, ahí quisiera trabajar yo. <laughs> Even with pandemic problems. Okay. No, si es que miren eso, esos, esos trabajos son pero geniales. Imagínense, usted está ganando un sueldo y ellos todavía le pagan los vuelos, los hoteles y todo pues usted, usted, usted viajando y ganando. ¿Ve qué galán? Ok. <ríe> Now, Doris Jasmine. Is the when you you assume 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 sorry there is just one of something in thy place, even if it has not been mentioned before. Okay, use that. When you assume there is just one of something in that place, even if it has not been mentioned before. We went on a walk in the forest yesterday. O sea, ahí en El Salvador sería común esto, ¿verdad? Porque no hay, no hay demasiados bosques. Entonces, usted dice the forest, o sea, en el bosque, Ya se sabe que es en el bosque el único que hay. ¿Verdad? No necesita mencionarlo anteriormente. Now, Catherine eh, Irasema. El segundo punto. What is the background? Yes. Thank you. And the, the third one also. Catherine? Uh, to left and to go number 45, our house is, is across from the Italian restaurant. Okay. It, it is supposed that there is just one Italian restaurant. That's why they say the Italian restaurant. Okay. Now, Natalie. Okay, teacher. Uh, use the in sentence or clause where you define or identify a particular identify. person. Yeah, identify. Identify a particular person or object. Okay. Examples: the man who write this book is a uh, famous. Okay, thank you. Now, um, Juan Carlos. Example. Yes, number two. Uh, I purchased the red car parked outside. Okay, now, Luis. I live in the small house with a blue door. Okay, I live in the small house with a blue door. Now, in Miami, let. In my. Use the refer to people or objects that are unique. Example. 
The sun rose at 6, 17 this morning. Okay, thank you. Now... Monica Marisol. You can go anywhere. Uh -huh. Close drifting across the sky. You can go anywhere in the world. Clouds drift across the sky, okay? ¿Van entendiendo esto o tienen alguna duda o consulta? Acuérdense que estos son eh, contenidos que yo se los he puesto aparte de lo que ustedes tienen en la plataforma. Es como para, para reforzar este, cosas que algunas veces en la plataforma están muy a, a vuelo de pájaro, ¿verdad? Y entonces y siento que necesitan como reforzar un poquito más, ¿ok? Y aprovechamos el tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque cuando terminamos antes, entonces para no estar ahí sin hacer nada, entonces aprovechamos a, a reforzar otras cosas. Esto ya lo tienen ustedes porque yo ya les pasé el PPT, ¿verdad? Pero aquí me gusta ponerlos a leer, entonces, ustedes pueden ir practicando también en su casa, ¿verdad? Con, con el PPT que ya le di. ¿Ok? Sí. Sí. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Este, vamos bien, sí, con, vamos bien con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Este, esta semana terminarían el 80% y les estarían ya enviando sus... sus o sea, el, el papeleo que ustedes necesitan para la siguiente, para la siguiente, este, el, 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 el siguiente módulo, curso, el siguiente ¿Curso? nivel, el siguiente nivel, ¿verdad? O sea, ya sería preintermedio módulo 2, ¿ok? Entonces, si you... See you tomorrow. Take care. See you. See you Have tomorrow. a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.